In fly casting, less is more. This line's 100 feet long in total. It has a red overhang marker. Lots of people place too many false casts above their head. They're trying to get distance, but they're creating too much work for themselves. I've stripped the overhang marker to my feet. All I'm gonna do is make one or two false casts and then release the forward cast when the overhang marker is at the tip of the rope. One, two, there's the overhang marker. The biggest fault in fly casting, I see slipping too much line into your false casts. There's my false cast. Now normally people are slipping line into it like this, see? And it becomes harder and harder because they think they're trying to get distance. It doesn't work like that. I've got a feature on my line, see that orange bit? If you go past that orange bit, you've got too much overhang. Just a simple piece of information like this and a piece of technology, the overhang marker. Let's bring the orange back to the hand again and I'll show you what happens when we shoot it just when the orange is at the rod tip. One false cast. <gasps> the overhang marker tells the user when to fire the shot. No multiple false casting. I mean, if you look around, that's what I'm casting up against, okay? It doesn't look too steep there, but actually that is getting my back cast, all that. So I can only get one shot, really. Roll cast pick up, one false cast. The orange is good because it tells you exactly when to cast and how to make casts like these. For instance, the roll cast, I just wheeled the orange out there. After it goes, wiggle the orange out, lift up, bang it out. That's it. There's the orange there. Lift it up. All my tapers are spay tapers. Even single-handed lines, they're all spay tapers. That means you can get away All the weights in that D loop, that's how the tape is designed. The red overhang marker tells me exactly when to make that forward cast. It's a visual aid, it tells me everything I need to know. That's the short head.